and the most committed human beings that, um, that I ever met. Well, like you too, but Donald, you would have great memories of, of when Rally took the team to, to the World Cup. Yeah, a lot of great memories of uh, the Australian national team and Rally Brassage in particular. Rally was not the most popular choice, I can tell you, but uh, he installed discipline in a team who did not have discipline. They came from all different nationalities. You had Italians, Greeks, Serbians, Scottish. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. <laughs> so My many, family. <laughs> we had so many different nationalities and they bonded them together and they got the discipline. They set the standards, they told them what he expected from and the ones that didn't apply the, the standards rally uh, put out, they weren't in the squad any longer. They didn't last. So consequently, when it came to the World Cup in 1974, and I, hopefully I'll always be remembered as a part of Rally's squad in many ways, because I, sure. you know the support for the national team is just un unbelievable, because we didn't think for one second Australia would make the final 16, not 32 as yes. we have the last time and this time, that, but 16 teams that we were selected and, and made it to the World Cup final. It was a fantastic achievement for the national team, and this man in particular. He installed what he expected, the quality, the discipline, and well, we've seen where we went, we got to the finals, the final 16. Bearing in mind, all of these players at that time were all part-timers, mm -hmm. they were getting something like, you know, $15 a week, it, maybe not that much in fact, Rally, was it? <laughs> the, the money was pretty was ordinary, very much in fun. fact. Tell us, uh, tell us about the bonuses you were on, massive yeah. bonuses. <laughs> I don't know, Manfred Schaefer still holds the cheque against Israel, $13.50 each. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he holds it at the, at the right place. But when we, when we yeah. arrived from Israel, we, we were preparing in Israel, and we arrived to Switzerland, uh, what really hit us hard was over 200 cameramen. Because bear in mind that England was not part of the World Cup, Scotland and Australia, uh, which is unusual for Scotland. We're cousins. We're cousins. <laughs> Scotland, Scotland and Australia, two, two, only two teams rep representing the Britain, you know, uh, and the uh, Commonwealth. And, and so uh, all these uh, crazy hungry Scotsmen or, or Englishmen uh, line up in Switzerland to take pictures as we arrived from Israel. Our team uh, had quite a few British-born mm -hmm. players, uh, Richards, Rooney, Alston, uh, or, or David Harding, many, many of them of British origin, Peter Ollerton and so on. They just wanted to see their heads in a picture, that family relative here, and they would see it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I may do an interview, and uh, I prize Jim Mackay for scoring that, uh, that phenomenal goal, goal mm -hmm. yeah, from uh, 28, 30 meters um, against uh, Korea. And I walk in a room and he said that Ray Richards packed up his bags. I said, packed up his bags for what? He wants to go home because I didn't mention Ray Richards. <laughs> and I went for a walk with him around the hotel, into the bush with my arm around him. I said, don't worry, tomorrow I'll give you big headlines and so on. So I went on television next day and prized Richards for a phenomenal contribution to Australian football. Everything was sweet. So, so the, 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 these things are very important that, that from ordinary environment where you find two headlines, probably two lines, three lines in Australia that we used to get, except when we qualified, the media was phenomenal right. to us. You know, I must stress this, that the media was fantastic to us when we qualified. And uh, we come over there, we are treated like royalties. Would you believe that I booked hotel in the in city of Brook? Only Australian team, not, no, no guests. No one. Oh. And the only meat was purchased from the outside of the farm. Bread and everything else was produced okay. in, the, in, the, in the headquarters. Mm -hmm. right? uh, that is unheard of. And, and uh, I received a journalist from San Diego who works for FIFA. He came from um, San Diego to my museum in Sydney. And he wanted to meet me and talk to me about the World Cup and so on about a few months ago. And uh, and I said we stayed in Brook and so 
Yes, he said, Mr. Rasik, I was born 10 minutes below that, <laughs> that hotel. <laughs> and you know, th that, that shows to you how <coughs> fantastic the world is, mm -hmm. uh, and very small at times, mm -hmm. and, uh, and relationship with the, with the, with the people like, like that, just e e exceptional. Um, last year I went to Germany for, to see Euro 208 and so on. I had more media attention in Germany than I have in Australia. Mm. You would never believe that. And, uh, and that's what football does for you and does for these fantastic people mm. who, who, uh, who made such a great, a great contribution. Then you can imagine this Cahill or, or um, uh, Kuhl and uh, Viduka and others. They are royalties. They are unbelievable. Yeah, definitely. Uh, ben, when you hear um, Rally speaking like this, it must give you a, a bit of... Um, well, enthusiasm with your own coaching. Oh, absolutely. I mean, to think, you know, I, I thought that I was doing reasonably well as a 35-year-old taking Seaford from, you know, down the bottom to, to try to get some success and hopefully some in a spot in the top five, but uh, it really doesn't compare to what uh, Rally's achieved, but it, it certainly gives any young coach um, some sort of inspiration and uh, some incentive to want to sort of be successful and, uh, and be the best you can be, I guess. Age, age is not definition, I can assure you of that. Age does not come into it. It's maturity, it's you, it's direction, it's uh, aims, objectives, ability to, to, to transmit knowledge from one person to another and share. That, that, that is the big secret. And you do that very well, very, very well. And you need to put it all into perspective. For where you are, you are doing a very important mm. job for your club and you've brought them out of the bottom of the uh, table and, and doing very well, attracting players. So you have to be commended on what oh, you yeah, do in yeah. your level yeah. as rally. I mean, there, there is second to none to, to the rally. So yeah, again, we thank you very <laughs> much for being here tonight. Now, we have to get on with some business, which is obviously talking about the local league. And the <laughs> first league that we talk about is, of course, the Super League. And so let's have a look at the results that uh, uh, went through over uh, round 13 on the uh, local Super League, the Divine Homes Super League. Of course, we had Adelaide Galaxy 1 being defeated by Campbelltown City 3. Very, very physical match in that one there, and we did take our cameras out there, so we'll have a look at that shortly. Uh, Michael Dahl scoring for uh, Galaxy, and Trimboli again scoring a double, consistently scoring each week, and Pat Barbaro scoring as well. Adelaide Hills 2, Raiders 3, very, very tight match. Uh, I took a trip up there on the bus, which we will see shortly as well. Uh, great trip, and that was a very good match, very tight match with Raiders, Raiders coming out with a last-minute goal to take the honours there. Bowman scoring uh, a brace. Cavallaro, Sarik and um, Allegic scoring for uh, Raiders. Para Hills Knights and Adelaide Blue Eagles took a one-all draw um, with Cartwright scoring for Para Hills and Parizos scoring for Adelaide Blue Eagles. Western Strikers 1, Metro Stars 5, Bezzotti uh, scoring for Western Strikers. And I like to question the end day that is for Metro Stars, but that's the results we were given. Uh, Menekela, Grelly, Tunbridge and Matriciani uh, scoring for Metro Stars. And then the game on Monday night was Adelaide City 3, Modbury Jets nil. Adelaide City bursting the bubble of Modbury because they did have a bit of confidence going into that match. But again, look at the name there, D Damien Morris scoring a double and his uh, protege, uh, Patrick DeRuvo, uh, scoring the other third goal. So, um, again, good matches across all, all uh, levels in the Super League. <clears throat> I'd like to have a look at the table, if we could, because we need to move along. We've got a lot of uh, footage to show. Table after round 30, Ben, if you could uh, have a, a read of that. Yeah, well, Campbelltown sitting on top um, on 29 points. Metro Stars second on 27. Raiders third on 23. Blue Eagles, uh, with a game in hand, fourth on 23 also. And Adelaide City making up the top five on 21 points. And of course, we've got down the bottom there, Western Strikers on 10, Adelaide Hills on 8, and Modbury on 7. Um, Adelaide Hills with a game in hand against Blue Eagles as well. So. And now, Donald, obviously, Adelaide City with um, you know their own woes this year, not doing as well as they have in previous years, having uh, new players come in, not quite melding in with the players that exist within the team and, and finding it rather difficult. Well, Adelaide City have set their own standards over the past 20, 30, 40 years. They're, they're a fantastic club, fantastic results over the years, and Valley actually had a spell 
coaching them as well. But uh, yeah, they find it a lot bit more difficult. They've lost two or three good quality players in, in the off season, but uh, they're starting to recoup. Another good win in, uh, on Monday night. And I think it won't be too long before you st start seeing Adelaide City creeping up the league. When you get Mo Morey has to play. He's such an important part of the team. If Morey plays, they're definitely a lot better off and he pops up with the, the occasional goal, and as we see on Monday, he popped up with two goals. Mm. If he can keep up that type of form, we know he can, because Rally knows him very well from, from nearly 20 years yes, ago, yes. and he was scoring goals then when he was playing in Melbourne. So. Uh,